hello everyone welcome to my channel today i'm in the lab i'm gonna show you how to do uh, acoustic emission calibration uh, method called the pencil breaking point so i'm gonna show you how to uh, so before you start you have to this is the the machine so I'm gonna switch the camera um, how do you do the switching this way so this is the 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 power source for the AE signal so just before you start you have to make sure the voltage is 28, around 28.1. So this is what I'm gonna do. Mm, this is the machine, the voltmeter. So we turn it on, and then we we see that it can that to confirm the value is 28. So you can see that's 28. So that's good. So I'm go gonna go and turn it off and then then I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and connect it properly. So that's good. And then turn it back on. Twenty eight. There you go. And then mm, so this is the computer where we the program for analyzing the events is. So, so for calibration, calibration. So we use lab view. So when you open the lab view, so this shows the All the sensors the interface for all the sensor I will have eight sensors so all are shown there and maybe before we do this I have to show you the sample so this is the sample So this is our sample. So this is, for example, this is sensor one, sensor two, sensor three, sensor four, and another four sensors at the back side. So I've just put some grids there to help me know the position. So sensor one, so you have to record. So this is sensor one. Sorry, the, my record or the paper is a little bit untidy, but so I'm in the lab, so you can see. So position of sensor one, you can see there, and sensor two, three, up to sensor eight, you can see that. And then I will break the pencil at these points. We know point one, so for example, point one is, uh, is marked on the sample here. Here, okay. So 
once you mark this on the sample uh, we break the pencil here because we know this point and we expect the signal to be picked up by the computer and then uh, um, we take this the signal to uh, software to analyze if you can get a value close to this point where we know the source of the signal then we can say the program works well so if we cannot find this point then probably there's a problem with the the entire system was you have to find out and solve so this is the calibration process so just to to show so i have 10 points i will break the pencil at 10 points so this is the pencil so try to get out the the tip out i break it at 10 points so that means i will receive 10 signals with 10 positions so you can see on my paper i have eight points and another two points at the back so i will confirm so because i know those eight points i will take the signals this the solution to the signals should also give me values close to the uh, 10 points so just to go back to the software so i'm gonna go ahead and run so you can see run there so before you run you can see this a little dull so if you run then you can see it becomes uh, it's not dull anymore so so i se select my point here so my point is here sorry oh sorry my so there there i know how to capture it but anyway so uh, over the point then i break the pencil and we go ahead and see here you can see the signals have been received and recorded and the the software records one event right then i'm gonna go ahead and break it over the remaining points so uh, point two point two i'm alone so maybe it's very difficult to take the video and break at the same point so sometimes the video will get blurry i'm sorry for that so that's the second point and you can see uh, the second signal is recorded so i go to the third point and the third point so the third point you can see here recorded the third point and the fourth one The fourth one a little difficult the fourth one is there a little bit difficulty so i'm breaking uh, the camera cannot capture that so okay you can see number four the five fifth point the fifth point is here so the fifth point so i'm gonna go ahead and break the fifth point okay you can see number five the software is recorded that then i'm moving to the the sixth point the sixth point the six point is this so it's difficult to capture so yes. oh 
you know, this six point. The six point. Then the seventh, the seventh is there. The seventh is there. The seventh. Then the eighth, that's the eighth point. The eighth point. Then the ninth point there. This is on the back side now. The ninth point. Oh, my pencil, I have to change. The, the tip of the pencil is exhausted. So let me confirm on the computer how many signals. Ah, I think the the ninth point was recorded nonetheless because I I tried to break but the pencil was exhausted. So still it's recorded. So I have to replace my the tip of the pencil. Mm, yeah here. Yeah. Okay, so this is a pencil and uh, and I'm sorry the video will go blurry a little bit. It's difficult to to take video and operate the camera uh, the same person so here so I the pencil yes yeah, so number nine maybe I break it again so that mean only means we'll have more 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 signals than you anticipate so i only need to record here that signal number nine is repeated so in the solution we have to take care of that so we have 11 signals so i go ahead and break it point 11 So number nine here, so I break it there. So that's that should be nine, but now it's ten, and then eleven, which should be ten. Okay. So those are eleven signals. So yeah, so eleven events you can see here. 11 down there so you have to stop this so stop no it's not stopping i don't know should stop it first my boat continue stop it's not stopping i don't know why Yeah, stop maybe. Should stop. Mm. Anyway, this should stop, should become blurry. to stop it anyway these are normal things with the programs so maybe I maybe I switch off the, I don't know stop it
anyway after that you need to stop the program for this i think is hanging or something um, okay and then once you stop and it's hopefully yours stops and then you can turn off the power source the power source and then you disconnect just to make sure the equipment is protected and then you have to come to the, the lab view you read you read the files that you have or the data that you've collected and you So these were previous data that I, that I had, had uh, generated, I think, needs to be deleted to, to avoid confusion, so maybe I delete this one. I should have done this before I started the, the new experiment, so I delete. I should delete this. Delete. Delete. All right. So I should have these two files. So I take them here to read them. There. And this. There. And then I run this. It extracts information, and then I have additional file here. You can see. So once you do this, you take these three files. So this is one, two, three, to any signal location code to solve. So you break pencil over points that you know uh, to kind of um, uh, simulate a situation where if you are doing the experiment, uh, the real situation is you don't know the source of the code. But in this case, I'm calibrating. I want to know how good my program is going to predict the points that I already know. So I break point pencil over the points that I already know, then collect the data, then take into a signal prediction or location code. So if my code is very good, it should predict the same same position because at this at now I know the the source of the the waves. Otherwise, in an actual experiment, you don't know the source of the waves, and once you are sure that the program can do the location well, then uh, you can go ahead. So once you, you finish this and you're satisfied, then you ensure your program can do the location well, then you can go ahead and do the experiment, because actually in the experiment, the source of the, of the uh, wave or the, the signal location the source is not known, the source of the crack. So uh, this is usually used to investigate breakage or fracture uh, in, in, in fracture mechanics. So goodbye, I uh, hope you learned something and thank you. I hope to see you. Bye bye.